and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shurima Lux. That's right, we're playing a different version of Lux now. We just played a Kindred Lux deck that looked awesome. We're going to try a little bit different version of Control. We're going to try a Shurima Control deck with Lux as the payoff. So let's see what we got going on with these. Lux is going to be our only champion in here. You can see our champions are three out of six, just the Lux. We're going to have a lot of predict. We're going to have Xenotype Researchers in here. They can grant three random allies in our deck, plus three, plus three. We don't have that many allies. We only have 12 total. And so if we're playing a Xenotype Researchers, that kind of means there's only 11 others in the deck. And so three of those 11 will have plus three, plus three. And so then to get to them, we're going to have our we're gonna have some card draw and some predict. We have Preservarium for card draw, um, which definitely a good card draw spell. Kind of wish we had some more, but I don't know if there's really that much more. But we can try to help find some of those things. We did plus three, plus three with the Chronomancers and the Ancient Preparations. We also have Rite of Calling, though, because since we don't have that many units, um, we want to be able to, and only like the three champions with the Lux, we want to be able to find them. And so Rite of Calling can help find those Lux for us. Uh, let's see. Blinding Assault can add can be uh, another unit since we don't have that many. We have Remembrance, same thing. It's a spell that's another unit. So like we can still have a decent amount of bodies out there. Um, we've got some good Demacia stuff, Sharp Sight, Single Combat. Um, Radiant Guardian looked great last game. We're going back with that. Um, and some Concerted Strikes as well. Be You know, just an interesting one to try out. we got Ancient Hourglass for Protection. So let's see how we do it. Unyielding Spirit, also protection and spirit fire for these aggro decks going wide. Um, yeah, let's get let's get to it. It doesn't look like it has the power or the card draw that the Shadow Isles version did, um, but it does have some really unique effects, um, especially with like the Xenotype researchers and stuff like that. And so it'll be fun to play this. All right, we got Draven and um, LeBlanc. I just, I, I just just kept on, like, Lucian just kept popping in my head. I was like, no, wrong L word, not Lucian, not Lucian. And then LeBlanc. Okay, that's it. So obviously we're going to keep the Spirit Fire, because that's going to be good against Aggro. Blinding Assault also looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two um, Hourglasses, because they should be a faster deck. Probably just going to be going turn three Remembrance. I don't know. Maybe we'll regret not using my Blinding Assault there. I'll cut them apart. Cool. But I, I am also incentivized. I kind of want to wait till turn 5. Or, you know, like, I want I want Blinding Assault to help turn on Radiant Guardian. I guess that's what I mean. And if we can wait a little bit, Spirit Fire can do some cool stuff against Glory Seeker also. Oh, no! Unfortunately, the Remembrance with no... You know, without killing anything, Radiant Guardian is definitely the worst hit. So unfortunately, we got the worst hit. Alright, so if I play Xenotype... What? That's new. Which I'm going to do. You will be scoured from this land. So I only have 5 mana this turn now, so not enough for Spirit Fire. Uh... That's starting to look kind of scary. That'll be a 7-3 now. I guess just a 6-2. Oh, 6-2 can't die? 6-2 can't die? Yuck. Alright, so we're going to purify that thing. Cool, cool. So I'll be going... Probably purify sharp sight. Save two spell mana for next turn, Blinding Assault, Radiant Guardian. Sorry, Preservarium. Because I don't actually have to cast the Valor next turn. Hmm. 
These things, these things gonna get big. They gonna get real big. How important is this Radiant Guardian that I've been working so difficult towards? Working so hard for it. Really? Really? I mean, this just helps them out. This just gives them room to play stuff. The best lies are beautiful. Ooh, Lux with the plus three, plus three. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Let's go. Working as intended. Yeah, challenging, you know, killing stuff, like, they only have space for three things, right? So it's like, it doesn't seem like good business giving them opportunity to uh, play things. Right up. What do we have here? What is this attack about? Never back down from what you believe. It's not safe. infinite mana but they don't if they just have like units they don't have like space to play stuff um yeah I mean I can't really stop that might as well kill the LeBlanc oh Right, that's not like a fight spell on their end. I guess I should have probably fought the 9-7. Right. Probably should have fought the 9-7. But then their LeBlanc would just get super big. And it would be leveled up. So, eh, I guess I'll just let them have a 9-7. Alright, well, not much to do here. Not much to do here. So 12 mana, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so if I want to play all three of those, I do not get to play this Ancient Preparations. What? They're just putting all the, the big stuff on it. Some of the overwhelm. Stay back. It should use a spinning axe. So close to killing these things. So close. I think I may like this Chronomancer the most. You know, just getting a 5-6. Because those things will be able to... By, by the time we play the Spirit Fire, those things will already have attacked and killed me. I imagine. So I think a 2-mana a 5-6 is That's probably a pretty good draw. No, because Spirit Fire, because because again, like they get to do they get to do damage to me before the Spirit Fire resolves.
But I do have... I mean, I guess I do have a card I'm relatively happy with on top with the Predict, right? Because, let's see. So, that's 17 minus 6 is, well, 11. Lethal-ish. But I guess I guess then it, once you add in this 5, when you have 19 here, that's going to be lethal. I don't know what happens with this Ancient Preparations if you choose nothing, like if you choose not to um, put something on top. I don't know if it still shuffles and gets you the random card or if it just gives you the card that you're going to have on top anyway. I don't know what like the actual thing is there. If the Tower Guardian is here, so it's, it's hard to play this Ancient Preparations, right? Like I don't know. Alright, well that kills me. That's why I didn't play this last turn, because I didn't know what I was going to do with the Predict. Okay. Alright, Vladimir Braum. Definitely get rid of that. We'll keep these ones. But yeah, removal for large units, because you know we don't have Vengeance or... Um, ruination, anything like that. So removal for large units and card draw. Those are going to be our weaknesses. This this kind of deck, um, we we want to face a good, like small unit aggro. We got a lot of good stuff for small unit aggro in this kind of deck. Double xenotype researchers. Pretty interesting. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just Even if they play like a two four to block. Um, you know, I only missed out on two damage, and yeah, there was a chance they played the Scar Ground, so got an extra three points of damage in here. But obviously, Scar Grounds is never one that I want to see. No, don't take a heart. Take nothing. I feel this my sword. Show me your best. Good luck. Multiple lenses. Clever. I just well, I could have gone double sharp side to try to kill it. Them having a troll chant to get rid of double sharp side would have been a disaster. Right of calling turning on Raiding Guardian is kind of cool. Focus using multiple lenses. There's probably not that big of a difference between Raiding Guardian and this other Xenotype researchers, though. Like, having a 4-5 tough is good, but... Yeah, just after playing three Xenotype Researchers, just the chance that our Lux over here is going to be a 7-8 had to have been a pretty good chance. I have the name. I need the reputation. We'll make quick work of you! First we fight! Have you met my shield? This is my choice. Never back down from what you believe. This is my choice. Excuse us. This will be a fight. Stop. Going down to five. Oh, I don't have both sharp sights available. I was going to double sharp sight this researchers. That doesn't help. So I guess I just sharp sight. Yeah, I guess we just do that. Oh, come on. Great hand opponent. Great hand. Scar Grounds, Braum, and a ton of combat tricks. 
Look good. I want to play Unyielding Spirit or 7 8 Radiant Guardian. Let's brighten up their day. Think 7 8 Radiant Guardian. Ooh, they're just, they just took it. Or, I mean, I, th I think Unyielding Spirit, that's what I was going to say, but. Just took that, huh? Good times, good what could be better? Okay. Can't get this Radiant Guardian play. I mean, I guess I could have attacked with 3 2. They are killing me with these Elixir of Irons. They are just killing me. I wanted to get the overwhelm thing out, so you know, like Braum challenges one thing, I block the Scar Thane step in with the other. But obviously it's good enough. Those combat tricks were incredible, and that landmark. Very good. Great hand. Okay. Different deck here. We'll see how we do. Since they're playing Ionia, Ionia should be, like, they should be having, like, all the bounce spells and stuff with Ionia, so I don't think the Unyielding Spirit's gonna be very good. Um, really don't think any of those will do very much. Um, okay, I like Xenotype Researchers. That's something that can put some pressure on them and make something a lot larger for us. It's possible to wait till after Xenotype Researchers for this card, but I don't know. Oh well, they're not Shadow Isles, right? I was thinking like Vile Feast, the the Blinding Assault. I should have played Blinding Assault and saved this for after Xenotype. Right? They're not Shadow Isles. You could have Ice Shard, but focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Why they pass first? Avalanche. Has to be Avalanche. I want to see if they killed one of these. I was going to play my Remembrance. Um, which they still could do, but I don't want to like pass and they pass and I end my turn and not use mana. And Remembrance is kind of nice to save after Lux anyway. Yeah, the Ionia version here has has all like the different bounce spells and stuff, and and uh, can keep replaying Ice Pillar, and yeah, they'll have Mina Swiftfoot. They're usually really like this deck's re usually really really good against slow decks like this. Oh, they're not playing Lissandra, so they're not okay. They're doing Trindamir, but still, so that's definitely Mina Swiftfoot, Field of Rush stuff. So I'm telling my opponent I have sharp sight with this attack. Look out for okay, so they probably have troll chant. With their block. So I, was, I was telling them I had it. So like the only reason to block is that you can do something about it. Okay, I can concuss the palm that still does something about it. We spent two mana last turn, this five. We'll level up the Lux. Next 
life a little worse. You have a very large Lux. <laughs> this is a very large Lux. Get ready for a beat down. But I'm king. By the light. <sighs> the tall is a mountain and covered in ice. That's either Trindamir or Minas with foot. I have an 8 3. Alright, so you've seen two mana spent. If it's Mina, I'm in a ton of trouble. If it's Trindamir, I'm in trouble. So I want to play a two mana spell next to level up this Lux. gonna have frostbite of course level up I mean create a laser beam now Mina will be Mina's turn eventually There it is. Don't know if I want any of these. Um, single combat would be like the one, you know, maybe a single combat. So I don't really have other interaction. But it's not great against Freljord. I'm going to skip them. Ooh, I like that. King of Trolls coming through. Let the light guide you. Book a third word, eight. One smack will do. We'll probably take seven. Oh, I shard. Oh, I didn't really consider you. All right, well, two trundles down. That's the good news. So one of our three Lux is down. <laughs> yeah, they, they go a lot bigger than us. Yeah, Craig, this is pretty doomed. I I think we need another champion in here. I think that Lux is a good card, but it this deck sorely, sorely needs another impactful champion. Like the Lux like yeah, like these Shurima cards aren't good enough like they're okay like they're like we're playing lux with a like in like some cool demacia cards with a bunch of mediocre like these are all like mediocre cards and this deck needs another champion it can't it can't handle just one it's not it just it's not on the same power level like that's the thing it's just not it's not on the same power level as other decks Especially a control deck that's trying to play long games. We gotta have... Lux has to have some health. Some health. 
I have some help. Everywhere I go, the light follows. This will be a slaughter. Yeah, Gnosis doesn't really fit. Not just flesh, rage incarnate. It's still lethal. No, Gnosis doesn't fit. We need, because, like, if you think about, like, Kindred, like, with Lux, like, our last deck, Kindred's another champion that can stand on its own and basically produce a lot of card advantage for us or kill stuff. Like, that's what we need. We need another champion that can kill stuff or produce a lot of advantage on its own, and Gnosis doesn't do that at all. This deck needs, like, I mean, it may just be, like, Fiora, honestly. All right, so our, our deck needs some more power, right? Like, we just don't have enough power, just Lux on her, on her own. Like, you got it. Like, with these kind of, like, slow control decks, I think that you really should be maxing out your champion spawns, unless you have, like, a good reason not to. But, um, and, and so we think about the Kindred deck that we just played. Kindred can um, also take over games on its own, and that's what we need. Like, Lux can take over games, but just only having three total cards out of your entire 40 that can take over the game, that's not enough, right? So we need we need another three. And so with, with this, uh, with these region... Um, you know, like none of these really are that card for a control deck except Fiora. Fiora can also just take over a game on its own. Fiora works great with the Xenotype Researchers, granting it plus three, plus three. Um, and then, you know, you ha we have like all these other tricks and stuff that all these other things that help keep it alive, protect it. We have the predicts to find it. It has a great champion spell. Um, so Fiora just fits in here too. So that's, that's what we need. So we're going to be putting in Fiora in this deck as well as Lux. And um, we took out the two... Blinding Assaults, um, Fiora just going to be a little better than that, and then took out one Rite of Calling as well. But I do like the Rite of Calling, but um, hopefully with the Fioras, we because uh, we're going to have some more champions now. So, All right, we're going to try that. All right, so let's try uh, Shreema Lux now with Fiora. Because Fiora is incredible. Speaking of Fiora, <laughs> facing Fiora Shen. Okay, let's look at our hand. All right, Chronomancer is a card we can play early, but I don't think I want to play it early, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't like, like, Chronomancer does not match up well against their Fiora if they have Fiora. I don't like that. And with having the Remembrance in hand, I think I want to go turn three Remembrance. And so if we're going to go turn three Remembrance, we, we just don't really need that uh, card in hand. But... I can just go with researchers, researchers instead. Like they're going researchers, so I could go researchers also. My res researchers is a little bigger than theirs. Yeah, I'm gonna play researchers this turn, because getting these in play as early as possible is the best. Because you never know, you could hit the top card that happened last game. So the earlier you get these in play, the better. As I said, the earlier you get them in play, the better. Do I want Preservarium or Random Card? I think I want Preservarium. This should last a longer game. I've got your back. Nature blesses her followers. Seems like an odd time to do that. This is what our deck was missing, right? We like this is a much better card than Blinding Assault. They could have single combat, yes, but I I have the quicksand, so uh, I'm not too scared. I mean, they could have repost, but again, if they basically if they use a repost or a single combat or anything like that, like you know, they just use that single combat for kind of nothing. Right? Like, sure, I don't get a Fiora kill, but I'm <laughs> I'm happy to kill their thing and get rid of a spell from hand just to deal one damage to my Xenotype researchers. Like, that's fine. Oh yeah, they just pass. I just wasted all that mana. Good call by them passing. That's a good play. I wanted to get them with the Spirit Fire, but good play by them. Uh, 
Obviously, I'll, I'll use this quicksand. No, we're probably fine. I mean, the, the Spirit Fires haven't looked good at all, but we haven't really faced the matchups that Spirit Fire is good against. Been like the Xenotype researchers in our deck. Wow. They should definitely just attack with these two that they're going to die anyway. I guess they didn't want to attack into Fiora, but I mean. Hmm. That's a surprise. Golden Ages. Ages? Ages. Sure. You can. Four mana deal six damage to me. Smile me. But that's the other thing is like Fiora does make the opponent completely change their game, right? Like that, it does like slow the opponent down and like kind of. It, it messes up the opponent also. So the Fiora does um, good stuff in that respect as well. I'm just going to do this, do that. They play something to save that thing, then I will purify. What's up, Lux? No. Okay, good. I almost thought I played something else, but yeah, good. That's what I wanted to play. There we go. Yeah, Fiora did awesome there. And took down Fiora Shen. That was great. So yeah, big upgrade to the deck. Alright, Lissandra Trundle. Another control deck, which I don't love to see with ours. But we should be better with Fiora. Love seeing... Get rid of all these. I mean, single combat's good, but I'm going to get rid of it. But I love seeing the Xenotype Researchers. Yes. Yes. Triple Xenotype. Let's go. That's new. Something going to be pretty big in our deck. How do they always have this card? This card's broken. I have a Rosen Sentry. That card is broken. All things grow cold. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. All right, what else we got? What? Another from Xenotype. Um. Do I want Concerted Strike? Could kill a Trundle. Alright, I'll attack right now before they play Trundle. Yeah, it's such a, such a great card. That is pretty cool. Ooh, plus six, plus six. Let's go. A two mana eight nine with predict. 
Go find something else that's buff. I do have Ancient Hourglass to protect it against. Um, take that. Against Ruination. This would be them taking nine. Foolish child. All right, Lissandra dead. We'll see if they go ruination or not. Unfortunately, it's a play predict, so it's not. Um, I guess I just pass. I guess I just don't play anything else out here. It's not like summon predict and then it will come back. Well, I'm going to play Remembrance and this Chronomancer. And attack. And hope they don't have like ice shard or something. We can always rely on you to keep I don't even know if like 6x Fiora is that great. See what I've learned? Especially against like Ledros. Now Xenotype researchers is summon. By Ancient Hourglass, one of those things. If they have Ice Shards, they die. If they have Withering Well, they stay alive. Harsh Winds, they stay alive. Harsh Winds plus Withering Well, they stay alive by a lot. Not gonna let them. Uh, not gonna let them. Whatever it's called. Atrocity. Not gonna let them atrocity. They. Why aren't they attacking? They just attack for seven. I mean, I had the barrier block, but still. There we go. Look at that. Xenotype Researcher is getting it done. As I Good job, Fiora. <laughs> okay, maybe that one wasn't as much Fiora, but that was definitely Xenotype Researchers. Okay, so we saw that our deck had potential, and the predict stuff with the control deck was really cool, and the researchers with not playing very many units, also pretty cool. But our first few games, we noticed that even though there was like some potential, it just lacked some power. I kind of said card draw at first, um, but really that's what it did is it, it lacked power. And really what we needed was another champion. The champions are just, you know, they are the best cards in the game. And when you're playing a long deck like this, you really want some powerful win conditions. And Lux is definitely a powerful win condition, but I think Lux just needed some help. And so we added in Fiora for the last two games and we won both of those. So, and our deck definitely looked better with having Fiora in it. Um, and I think that it would have been better against other like aggro and mid-range decks and everything too. I did really like Fiora with Xenotype Researchers because both times we drew Fiora, Fiora was a 6-6 six -six because of Xenotype Researchers. So that that's definitely a, a cool thing here, being able to put those two together. 
And then obviously you have all your Demacia spells. And then even like Shurima has really good cards with Fiora as well. Like our, our Quicksand was awesome with that Fiora, for example. You know, we didn't have to use Ancient Hourglass, but it was in there as well. So, um, so yeah, so I think we kind of learned here with this deck that um, playing six champions is, is usually a good thing to do, especially when you're playing a, long, a longer game deck. Um, you know, like your aggro decks that like just have Elise as a champion, you know, like that's fine. Like, cause you're, you're trying to get like the game over real fast. But when, when you're playing a super long game, you need to have like that extra power. And that's what our Fioras can do. Um, so there we go. So kind of like a tale of two decks, right? At first it didn't start off too well with only Lux, but we added Fiora in here and then we went 2-0 with Fiora and our, our deck looked better. So I recommend that if you want to give this a try, give that, a, you know, give that a try. If Basically, if you've been wanting to play like a Xenotype Researcher's deck, that's like a Xenotype Researcher control deck, um, this could be a good option for you. This was this was pretty cool. All right, but that's Sharima Lux. So I, I think the Kindred Lux was, was you know, like still like I, I'd be more confident winning with that deck. We have like a little bit more card advantage there and the, the Kindred is also awesome and Shadow Owls gave it, <clears throat> gives us some more hard removal that we're missing. So um, I like that one a little bit better out of the two, but I think this was a, you know, this is a, a just a fine deck as well with Fiora and Lux. All right, but anyway, um, that's it for Sharima Lux here. Those of y'all on YouTube, of course, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Um, you know, it, you know, let me know what you think of this deck. And um, also, like I said, the last one, the the other three decks that we played right before this, all good rank up decks. Let me know what you think of those ones. The Elisa Zier, the um, Nightfall Aggro that we had here, and then the uh, Kindred Lux. So try try out all those decks also. Let me know what you think of them. Just keep giving me that feedback on these decks. The feedback really, uh, really helps because I, you know, go through all these different decks and so I don't get to like stay on one deck for a long time. So I, I really like to, to hear uh, y'all's experience whenever you try out the decks as well. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Sharima Lux. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.